What's up world, I'm Mr. Vaca and today I'm going to give you a basic guide to Google Jamboard. First thing you always need to do is go to google.com, make sure that you're logged in here in the top right corner and then click the waffle iron, the Google Apps icon. And then you are going to be able, if you don't see it right up here, the app, come scroll down and then you'll find Jamboard. Once you click on that Jamboard icon, you'll be redirected here to your home page and you'll have the same kind of format as that you have in Google Slides, Google Docs, Google Sheets. And I've only created one Jamboard. It's right here. It's called Admin Team Test Jamboard. And I just want to give you a quick glance of all the different things you can do here. This is page one of four pages or four different whiteboards. And to the left over here, you have the different things that you can use to write or erase on your board. Like right here, I have a pen. If I click on the pen, I can then write, hi. It's kind of hard if you have never done it with a mouse before, not gonna lie. But if you click it again, you can change the type of pen. So this one is the second option. Here's the third option. This is more of like an actual dry erase marker. And then the third option is like a paintbrush. Now you can change the colors here if you want to make it, you know, red, green, blue, all that different kind of fun stuff. And then our next icon right here is the erase button. And this just is a simple eraser and you can, you know, do what you need to do, erase. This is the cursor, so now I want to go between the first and the second slide. If I want, I can now click up here to my next frame. And this is a diagram that another admin team practiced or tried to make with the whiteboard. And here we have a blank frame and then another blank frame. So if I wanted to go here, and let's say I wanted to clear this board, there's right here a clear frame button. And if you click on that, it completely erases the board so that you don't have to click this eraser icon and do the entire board because that can take a long time. If you want, you can hit Command Z and undo something that you just did. And this right here is a sticky note. And if you click this icon, you can have a sticky note saying, test, click save, and there it is. Now I want to get out of it, I just hit cancel and I'm back to the screen and as you can see here, we have a new yellow sticky note and the blue sticky note over here is an image. So if you want to click the add image icon, you can search the web just like you would in Google Docs or Google Slides, or if you have a file on your hard drive or your desktop, you can upload it right through here. So let's say, you know, I click here, I can find the file, upload it. You can also do a Google image search and I could say tiger, you know, and it will give me pictures of a tiger and I can click select. It will upload that image to the whiteboard. So if you're doing a social studies project or an art project, you can put the picture up here and you can write comments, you know, like, look at this, dangerous, you know, all that different stuff, clear frame. And now over here you have a background and you can change the background type of your whiteboard. So if you are a math teacher, you might benefit from using this right here, how to turn it into a grid format where you can either have students um, color it in or it's if you want to make sure that it looks more uniform this can help you out a lot um, there are other things if you want to have a blue background make sometimes it's easier to see if you have that but then if you clear the frame that doesn't clear the background you have to go back to this if you want to change your background now let's say this bottom one i have a laser i'm going to go back right here to this and i wanted to uh, draw the attention to what I am presenting. These Jamboards will be live and you could present using them. And if you click on this laser tool, you will then have this laser saying, okay, boys and girls, you know, focus on this. Why is this one different? So it's just a cool way to highlight what you are doing, all that different fun stuff. Now, if you want to add a new board, all you need to do is click this box up here. This is the expand frame bar. And if you click on that, it shows you right now I have four different boards. If you click this dot dot dot, I can duplicate a board and it's also how you delete a board. If you want, you can add another frame by clicking one of these blue uh, plus circles and then you can again get rid of the stuff that you don't want by doing delete. If you wanted to, you could even drag and drop if you wanted to change the order. So that's the basics of Google Jamboard. Hopefully I covered your questions, but if you have any more, leave them down in the comment box below. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe and share the video out with all of your friends. It helps out the channel a lot. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.